Flowey is not a good life coach. Chapter 1. Original story by Unrested Jade. Comic by The Fluffy Slipper. <sighs> We've been here for a while now. It's strangely quiet. He's strangely quiet. I guess even Papyrus can slow once in a while. It's novel, though. Novel is good. And novel Papyrus is better. You know, it's been a while since I did something like that. Hmm. Hey, Papyrus? Yeah? You're my favorite skeleton. Of course I am. You're my favorite magical talking flower. Ah, shucks. If I had blood, I'd be blushing right now. A flower with blood sounds pretty gross, Flowey. Yeah. <laughs> That would be pretty messed up. Ah, Papyrus can always surprise me like no one else. No need to rush this. Papyrus, we're friends, right? Yes, we're great chums. I'm glad. Um, is something on your mind, friend? Because I'm a great listener. As a matter of fact, yes, there is something on my mind. I was just thinking about how tough you are. Really? Yeah, I feel really safe hanging out with you. You want to know a secret? Did you know I wasn't always a flower? Get out of town! Really? Yeah, silly goose. There's a reason there's no other magical talking flowers around here, you know. I used to be a really strong monster. A really rare special one. I was a boss monster. Wowie! I know, right? Don't tell anyone. I bet you're wondering how a boss monster ended up as a little old flower, huh? It's a super big secret, so I'll whisper it to you. I died. I Crazy, huh? I should have disappeared, but I got stuck here in one of the flowers I fell onto when I died. Don't ask me how. I could see my own dust around me when I woke up. That's awful. Yeah. A bunch of humans came after me when I was just a kid. They beat me to death. Oh my god, no. Sad, huh? That's the saddest thing I've ever, ever heard. Nah, the real kicker is that I was strong enough to have easily killed him. I could have wiped that miserable village off the face of the earth! Nah, sorry, it's a sore spot. I'm sure you understand. Getting murdered is no fun at all, gosh. I... I bet not. I didn't believe in fighting back then. I was just a kid. A nice kid. You weren't born yet, but I bet if you'd been there with me, you'd have protected me for sure. Absolutely! No way would I, the Great Papyrus, have let those humans harm you! How could they have done something so terrible to a child? The world is a cruel, cold place, Papyrus. It's kill or be killed out there, you know? I didn't want to believe it, and look where Mercy got me! You always pull your punches, too! I don't know how strong you are for sure. Could you really have saved me? Could you have killed them? Or would you have made the same mistake I did? I... I don't want to bum you out, Papyrus. I'd like my sad fate to do some good in the world, you know? I told you my secret because I thought it might help you. Help me? I don't follow you. Well, silly, I want you to learn the lesson I died to learn. We're going to try a little exercise, if you don't mind. I, um, I think I mind. A lot. If it's all the same to you. I'm going to attack you, Papyrus. For real. And I want you to fight me. I want you to fight me for real. I want to see what you can do when you don't pull your punches. I... I don't want to fight you! I know you don't, friend. But if you don't, then I'll have to find another way to teach you the lesson. Now, I know the great Papyrus wouldn't dream of running away like a coward, would he? Because that would disappoint me. Please, please don't! We're friends, aren't we? Of course we are, you silly goose! You are my favorite, after all. Now, are you ready to fight like your life depends on it? Because guess what? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Is not a good life coach. Chapter 2 Original Story.
story by Unrested Jade. Comic by The Fluffy Slipper. Good boy! You did much better than I expected. I'm still sensing some hesitation, but I think you've made some real progress. Don't you? Friend? <laughs> you can stop fighting me now. There we go. See? As long as you keep pleasing me like this, you'll be perfectly safe, Papyrus. Boy, you got a little banged up, huh? Let me take care of that for you. <laughs> oh, better. I fixed your clothes, too. Now, I know you train with Undyne, and you practice three hours a day like a good boy. I'd like us to keep having this special practice a few times a week, just to give you the edge you need. Sound good? Uh-huh. You want to be in the Royal Guard, don't you? I... Of course you do! Not running away? Even staying quiet? We are making progress. I don't want you to be afraid of me, Papyrus. Seeing you succeed and get what you want would make me happy. Because I'm your friend, isn't that right? Y yes From here on out, just remember that I'm doing all this because you're my cool and great friend, okay? Yes. And you're going to be even cooler and greater with my help. Yes. <laughs> Papyrus, are you just agreeing with me so I'll let you go? Yes. <laughs> you're so honest. I've always liked that about you. It's okay, friend. I know this is a lot to get your head around, and you're not used to thinking big thoughts. Why don't you go home and rest, huh? You earned it, champ. <laughs> hey, Papyrus? Remember that you're keeping my secret. If you blab, I'll have to tear you up into itty bitty pieces. And I'll do the same thing to anyone you tell. Got it? I got it. Good! Well, nighty night! Flowey is not a good life coach. Chapter 3. Original story by Unrested Jade. Comic by The Fluffy Slipper. One month later. Oh no! Oh yes! I'm sorry, Undyne. I'll get you a new one. Who cares about the dummy, dummy? That was hardcore! Woo! Yeah, uh, woo! I sure did some property damage, all right. Hell yeah, you did! Man, that dummy got wrecked! You know, I really didn't mean to hit that hard. Undyne thinks bigger is always better. And that's totally true for some things, like parties and spaghetti recipes. But magic is different. Magic should only do exactly what you tell it to do, not more. What if instead of the dummy standing across from me it had been... <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. Hey, don't worry about that, Paps. But I... I want to get a picture of the impact zone to put on the fridge. So let's just leave it for a while, yeah? <sighs> That's it! Huh? I've made my decision. You've really buckled down this past month. Don't think I haven't noticed how hard you've been working. To be honest, I was holding out on making you a guard because I couldn't be sure you could take care of yourself. No offense, but I'd feel like total crap if I sent you out unprepared and you got hurt or something. I understand, Undyne. But you've really proven how serious you are about this, Papyrus. After seeing the burning, righteous passion you showed me today, I feel like it just isn't right for me to deny your dream anymore. You've got the right stuff. So you're in, buddy. I'm swearing you into the Royal Guard right now! Undyne, I... What? Really? Yes, really! Uh, you can start screaming and jumping up and down any time, Paps! Uh, that wouldn't be very... godly behavior. I'm super stoked, Undyne. Really. On the inside. 
But why aren't I screaming and jumping right now? I'm happy, right? My dream's coming true. I should be overjoyed. Then why can't I feel any joy? The cool facade that hides a tempest in your soul. I can respect that. Just don't get too stoic and brooding. That's my style. The Great Papyrus would never bite his friend's style on dying, uh, sir? M-ma'am? The... Commander? Ah, oh, come on! You can just keep calling me Undyne. Now are you ready to get sworn in or what? Stand up straight, this shit's serious! Do you, Papyrus of Snowden Town, solemnly swear on your very life to fight for King Asgore and the monster race? To uphold justice, to defend the innocent and wimpy, and to seriously kick evil's ass 12 ways from Sunday everywhere, all the time from now until you're dead in the cold, cold ground? I do! Am I getting married? Excellent! Okay, you're a guard now. Wowie! That was fast. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll get you kitted out, alright? Y-yes! Right! Well, you'll want to tell your brother the good news and get your party on with your Snowden buddies, so we'll call it good for the day. I gotta find some armor to fit your skinny ass. I'm so pumped for you, Paps! Did I scare you? <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry. You, you simply startled me, that's all. I'm not scared of you. I'm glad. How was your training session, champ? Anything major happen? Good. Um, I'm a god now, so that's... good. That's great news, Papyrus! She changed her mind just like that? Guess I'm a pretty good coach, huh? Yeah, so... Mission accomplished? We can go back to normal and chill and talk about neat stuff? Ah, oh, pot waste forever, that's fine too. Aw, friend! You're more ambitious than that! This is just the beginning of your career! You can do way better than just being a lowly guardsman! Hmm... I think we should move our special practice to tomorrow night, yeah? You deserve a night off for doing such a good job! Thanks, Flowey! You're welcome, friend! Just don't stay up too late! I want you good and rested for our new training regimen! Oh, and I sure hope that wasn't a load-bearing while you put that big honking crack in, gosh! Yeah... I don't know how that happened. It just kind of got away from me. Nonsense! You're just getting stronger, that's all. Sure impressed me. I'm dying too. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing you two weren't sparring today. Or she would have gotten hurt real bad, huh? Uh. Nighty night! <laughs> Flowey is not a good life coach. Chapter 4 Original Story by Unrested Jade Comic by The Fluffy Slipper Gonna leave this here since you overslept, punk. You better have partied like a true royal guard last night. Looks like Undyne picked out the smallest pieces for me. Hmm. Uh, they still need adjustment, don't they? You're up, Ali. <laughs> Headache woke me up. Partied a little too hardy, I guess. What I don't get is how you're always fine, even though you drink maybe twice a year. I'm kind of jealous. I'm in much better shape than you are, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like hammers on my skull. Believe me, bro, I'm well aware. You're in shape, I am... shapes. <laughs> mm. Is that your new kit? Yeah, Sundyne dropped it off this morning. She sure doesn't waste any time. No, some people don't. Uh... You're awfully quiet. You okay, bro? You have a hangover. Nah. Come to think of it, you've been quiet for a few weeks now. Man, this stuff's fiddly, isn't it? And heavy. I'll get used to it. Thanks, Sans. I can get the rest. Seriously, though. 
You seem kind of down. Especially for a guy who just got his dream job and all. I must inquire about your mental well-being, bro. It's a lot more responsibility than just being a sentry, Sans. Uh, inquire? <laughs> because I helped you with your armor? Nothing? Oh, right. That's terrible. I have no brother, etc. Uh, why won't you tell me what's eating you? Nothing is. I'm fine. I'm just tired. Sans! No, listen. You're acting really off and it's weirding me out. We're family. We don't, uh, well, we don't keep things from each other. So I'll ask you again. What's going on with you? Oh, that's rich! So I'm supposed to be peppy and Jim all the time, am I? I'm not allowed to have a bad day! Bro? You're the one who sleeps 12 hours a day! You're the one who stumbles around unwashed and half-dressed all the time! Stop. You don't do anything unless I physically shove you outside! And even then you put forth the absolute minimum effort you can get away with! Stop! Something's wrong with me?! When's the last time you washed those clothes? When's the last time you showered? You smell like wet dog hair and feet! God, why can't I stop? Why won't I just shut up? I'm the one with the problem? You can't even- No! You refuse to take care of yourself! You refuse to take anything seriously! You think I want to drag you along by the wrist for the rest of our lives? You think I want to be the one keeping you going day in and day out? I should be asking what's wrong with- I should- Why have I never asked if Sans is okay? Please, stop. I'm... Uh... I need to stop my patrol. Yeah. Guess I should get ready for work anyway. No. You should stay home today. Better you fall asleep here than at your station. Wow! Looking sharp, Papyrus! Ugh. Of course he'd say the same thing as everyone else on the way here. Not that those compliments felt good anyway. So, I couldn't help but overhear you reading your brother the riot act earlier. That's between my brother and me. If you ask me, you were completely in the right. It wasn't my place to say anything, but I've thought for a long time now that he takes advantage of your kind nature. Not that I think he means to, don't get me wrong. But that guy has some serious issues, don't you think? Maybe you'll do some thinking thanks to your intervention. Yeah, he'd do some thinking on what a jerk his brother was. I don't know why I was acting like that. Once I got going, I couldn't stop. And the things I was saying was so... mean! A family isn't a family without a lot of pent-up resentment and bitterness, Papyrus. Relax! Besides, sometimes the truth only sinks in when it's harsh. Sad but true. I think you of all people would get that, right? Well, I won't keep you, Guardsman Papyrus. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much, okay? It's his problem that he's wasting his life, not yours. Oh, and don't forget our practice tonight, huh? Wear your armor. <sighs> it can't go on like this. I need to figure out what Flowey wants out of all this so I can get him to stop. All I wanted was to get into the guard. Why are we still continuing? Unless he just likes beating on me for its own sake. But... Flowey's just a child, right? He's gone through such horrible things. And he must have been alone for so long. Perhaps he just doesn't know how to behave. Maybe I can talk with him tonight. Flowey isn't being a very good friend. And something has got to change. It'll be scary to stand up to him. But I've got to try. I don't want to hurt anyone. is not a good life coach. Original story by Unrested Jade. Comic by The Fluffy Slipper. <laughs>
My mother and father told me that the real stars move. They said that the sky turns like a wheel, and the stars all turn with it, but it's too slow to really see. Oh. They just spin in circles above the Earth, over and over. They always end up back where they started. They never really go anywhere. So, this is the first time Papyrus has actually joined the Royal Guard. Well, the first time where the Guard still means something. Come closer, friend. I want to get a better look at you. It's kind of mismatched, but it's a good start. Ah, I actually wanted to talk to you about something. Before we, you know, got started. Oh? If it's about this morning, don't worry about it, friend. I know how siblings can be. Mine used to get me into all sorts of trouble, you know. No, it's about what you said yesterday. I, I was kind of hoping that we could... Go on, friend. If you have a request, then go right ahead. This training is for your benefit, after all. I was really hoping that we could just stop this now! I mean, I'm in the Royal Guard, and that's honestly all I wanted, and I'm very grateful for your help, but I'd very much like to end this because I don't like it at all, and I was sad and nervous all the time, and I'm worried that something is going to go wrong, and it will all be my fault, and- Papyrus! Papyrus! Shh. I'm going to go ahead and stop you now, okay? Uh... It was very brave of you to say that to me, Papyrus. You... you mean you're not angry with me? Oh, Papyrus, there's no need for me to be angry, is there? You're my friend and I care about you. Does this really make you so unhappy? I know you're hurting. I know you suffered things you didn't deserve. And I can't imagine what it must feel like to be in your position. But you must stop. If you're my friend... I know you can do better. If you try, I'm sure of it. I'm truly very sorry to hear that you feel that way, Papyrus. But can I ask you one question? Did you think you were in control? I'm glad you're grateful for what I've done for you, Papyrus. Because you'll have much more to be grateful for before we're done. Which will be what I say. Not you. Never you. Please, I don't want to do this anymore! I, do, I don't want to do this! You don't say no to me, friend. On your feet, guardsmen! And ready your magic! Better. And remember, Papyrus, for your life. Trying my patience tonight, friend. You're forgetting your lessons. Please, please, please. I think you need a refresher. You need some course correction, Papyrus. Get on your knees. I don't want you to fall and hurt yourself. Give me your arm. 
Papyrus, I'm going to break your arm. Don't struggle. No! No, 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 You keep saying that to me, Papyrus. No, 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 please, no, no, no! Stop saying that word to me, Papyrus. <laughs> a member of the Royal Guard wouldn't cry about a broken arm, but I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Now that you're a guardsman, you need a new carrot, right? New goals. I bet you 20 gold that you could replace Undyne in six months. What do you say? <laughs> I know that sounds like a stretch, but you can do anything you set your mind to, friend. I believe in you. And once you're captain, you'll be close to King Asgore. Won't that be neat? You just stick with me, Papyrus. I'm going to make you a hero. You're going to be a legend. Such a lot! Sweet Jesus, Papyrus! Ow! <laughs> Silly! I thought I told you! You just ate bone hurting juice! Ow! Oof! My bones! <laughs> <laughs>